Designing a logo takes time. Colors can leave a lasting impression and enhance your brand. Here's what your logo color says about you. We got blue, which is our logo color. Yeah, yeah. And why, you know, there's a reason why we do that, because I think it shows uh, trustworthiness, dependability, honesty. That's where we're providing a service to people. So business is hard enough, is, is what I like to say. So if you know that this is the way that a consumer is going to view a color, then why not use the color that the experts say? So that's, that's why we use blue. And different shades of these colors, too, can mean a slightly different thing. But across the board, blue is a trusting color. Very trust. Yeah. What, yep. yep. Yellow. What is yellow? So yellow is um, more of your optimistic, bright, eye-catching, quick, mm. fast attention color. When you think of yellow, you typically think of, like, McDonald's or Burger King, like that yep. fast approach. So when someone's driving down the interstate, that yellow is eye-catching. Huh. We're being manipulated Everywhere we turn, the colors, the words. I love yellow, but when I see yellow, I always think of like yellow and green vegetables. Yellow is one of my favorite colors, yeah. and we're about to talk about orange. Orange, yellow, and pink are my three favorites, but yeah, I don't know. Yellow, I think it's if it's used, again, the shading kind of makes a difference. McDonald's is that bright, almost like mustardy yellow, yeah. which is different than a soft yellow. Yeah. So then we have red. Red's like the Netflix, YouTube. Uh, who else is red? Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. So red is excitement and passion. It's bold. It can be aggressive. It can be angry. It can be all different kind of things. You know, I think of red as bold and passion. Those are my two things that I always associate red with. I mean, red wine, red roses. Yeah. And Walgreens, red too. Walgreens, Walgreens, red. How is that passionate? Maybe because of the emergency, like you can find almost anything at Walgreens. That's true. They like have medicine. All of your emergency rooms and all that, they have the they CVS use the red is logos. red also. Yep. Well, I think CVS just does everything Walgreens does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love Walgreens. You can find I mean they are a little expensive, but you can find almost anything in there and you're quick in and out. Yeah, it's probably because of the red logo. Orange. I think friendly, affordable. Hub, HubSpot. HubSpot. You got yep. Nike, Nickelodeon. Again, that friendly, yeah. almost exciting where it's similar to red, um, but it's almost like a calmed down version of the red. But it also, when you look at a brand like Hermes, Hermes has that orange in it, but it's like a real high end kind of orange. Again, so the it, shading makes a difference. I know yeah. in this article off of Shutterstock, I was reading that... Um, like orange, when you think of like Nike and Nickelodeon, that's a bright orange, attention catching orange, friendly, more youthful orange. But apparently, they were saying more high end luxury buyers are attracted to a lighter kind of peachy orange, which I learned that today. I, I did think not Shutterstock's know that. colors are orange too. Sh oh, is it? I think it is. It look. is. I know. The hey, so what you don't came ever... first, the actual orange or the color orange? The I don't know. Color. Viewers. Y'all, if you know the answer, answer that. What came first, the color orange or the fruit, the orange? Did they name the color after the, the fruit, fruit or yeah. green? I think green might be one of my favorites for a brand. Yeah. I guess because I like healthy stuff. Yeah. Health, fresh, cleanliness. Yeah, fresh, um, fresh is the one. Serenity, lively. You think of Whole Foods. You think of... You, you have a green shirt on today. It's fresh. Uh, yeah. Fresh today. Yeah, that's what all of the... Um, you know, the, the eco stuff that we're putting in cars. It's always that green logo, like mm -hmm. as far as the smart cars and stuff like that. They always put like a little green flex on anything like that you do. Like it's a symbol for the environment, you know, clean. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with that. I always think of like salad, um, little salad shops. Mm -hmm. Again, Whole Foods or like the neighborhood Walmart is the green instead of the blue. Well, why is that? You know, yeah. a big Walmart is the blue color, or that's how it used to be. I know that they always yeah, are changing their, and they then got the neighborhood blue and is yellow. I think their main colors. Yeah. Yeah, it's an, a great it's a great color to introduce into things. It goes with most things, also. And um, I, in the article I read that green is apparently an easier to read color, hmm. it's just softer on the eyes, I guess. I don't know. Hulu is green. Hulu is green. Yeah, which is weird. We were talking about this. So Netflix, you think of red and black. Hulu, Hulu, <laughs> Hulu is green and black. So I wonder why, I mean, Netflix, they said it's more of a cinematic experience, but Hulu is, is also a streaming service, so why are they green? Yeah, maybe it's the origins of how Hulu started. Purple. I always associate purple with royalty. I don't know why, but um, it's a strong, wise, creative, soothing color. I think of Barney. Barney? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I know yeah. it's weird. Sometimes you don't want to wear certain colors together because they remind you of things like Barney. Yeah. You know, like purple and green. 
remind you of Barney. Right, right. Or Mardi Gras. Or Mardi Gras, right. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Purple, I think, could be seen as a luxury color, although the color psychology article didn't say that. I think purple could be seen as a luxury color. I, think I don't know why I'm thinking of this. Welchers? Crown, Crown Royale. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, liquor, that, yeah. but that and that's a luxury <laughs> brand. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Um, similar to purple, you got pink, fun, youthful, again exciting, romantic, kind of edgy. T T Mobile, right? We've all seen T Mobile commercials. They're edgy and fun. It's that fuchsia, bright, hot pink. Um, I think if you have a softer pink, it's seen as a little more soft and more feminine. Mm -hmm. Um. And it's then, also October. It's a big, you know, cancer awareness color. Right. Yeah. There and then go. luxury, it's another one that luxury manufacturers or designers always introduce a different kind of shade of pink into, right. into their collections. Pink, I don't think will ever go out of style. Ooh, black. This one's fun. Yeah. You have chic, luxury, business, a little black more card. seriousness. Yes, yes. Black card, a little more exclusivity yeah. to it. I Ooh. think like a lot of your car brands like Infinity and Lexus, I think they use a lot of black colors. Especially in their commercials. Yeah, they do a lot, a lot of blackout, those luxury sedans. Too. Sometimes even the type the, the type is in black. You know? Glamour. So the, the letters are just plain black. White. You think of Apple. Mm -hmm. That's transparent, modern, clean. Again, a chic. White is, goes, uh, I think it matches good with Apple. Very refined, sophisticated, clean, modern. It's very techy. Most expensive items you own, like your iPhone, your Mac, yep. your iPad. So they want to have that transparent feel that they're not hiding anything from you when you make these big purchases. Yeah, the design is the product, so they want to highlight it and not take anything away from it because they they design beautiful products. Yes, so let yes. that take the show. No, I mean, I, I was just thinking about how you you know you have the contradictory when we're talking about Uber. Then you look at Lyft. You know, as far as like Uber's that black, and you're looking at the elegant, but Lyft is that. Pink and purple kind of going that, that little mixture to it. So it's a lot more fun. So what does that say about those brands? You know, how, or what are they trying to say about those brands? Yeah. And Uber was the, was the uh, incumbent and Lyft was the, you know, the kind of small, you know, entrepreneurial one that wanted to come and compete with them. And so maybe their spirit was more about rah, 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 let's go get them. And Uber was trying to create this black car service that everybody had access to. Hmm. Oh, I mean, when you think about Google, Google, you you associate white with pops of colors, right? The primary colors, mm -hmm. red, blue, green, yellow, yellow. Yeah. So just interesting, guys. Yeah. Just let us know your thoughts on this. We think it's really fun to talk about colors and kind of, you know, the way what they say about you and your brand and your business. Yeah. And if you're new and you start you're thinking about starting a company, keep these things in mind when you're creating your logo, you know, who, what, what is going to symbolize or signify just from the color of your logo, you know, it can, it can give you an advantage. So uh, pay attention to it if you're just getting started.